Hey guys, my name is Zakiram. Welcome to our channel BTEC Credit Guide. So, in this video, I will be explaining one amazing uh, assignment that has been given from this ENT ENT company. Okay, so many people have requested us on our Instagram. Okay, so we came up with the solution video for that. So, we'll be driving to the source code. And first of all, let us go and deep dive into the technical requirements of that particular assessment. Okay, so this is the company. Uh, I am not aware of when this company has released this uh, hiring process, but uh, I went to this YouTube and then I searched for ENT ENT and then you'll be finding a lot of videos on this like six days ago, seven days ago, 12 days ago. And I was like, okay, I was not aware about this hiring. Okay. And fine. Anything is fine. But you know, they just told me, but rather no one expert about this project, but I will be deep diving to this project requirements and let's make this project awesome okay uh level is assessment yes nice uh, let me close this chat box okay so this is the assessment guys so technical assessment calendar application for communication tracking so they want you to build a calculator sorry calendar application for tracking purposes so it will be based upon the uh, events that you will be creating uh, for example if you have to attend a meeting so on so in so particular date for example new year event on tomorrow so you need to schedule a call so in that manner it will be but a slight different so object two, as a company we aim to maintain strong professional relationship by keeping accurate where is my cursor mm, okay accurate records of our interactions with other organizations the object of this assessment is to develop a react based calendar application that enable us to efficiently track communication with companies ensuring flow ups timely and consistent this tool will provide a centralized platform to log past interactions, future planning communications and manage the frequency of engagement based on the predefined schedules. So you just need to book a schedule just like booking a call. Okay, so that's how you need to do. The application will include the admin module for setting up companies and communication parameters and then user module, user module for visualizing, managing and performing communication tasks and reporting and analysis module for actionable insights which is an optional thing okay in case if you want to interact with data just go ahead and do that will add a few more points to your profile okay so we have done everything don't worry so the admin module uh, which they are saying like you need to setting up a company and communication parameters there are different parameters like you can select this linkedin uh, linkedin linkedin emails and then emails telephone calls so different parameters that you need to include that in the communication parameters and then next one which is a companies which basically companies normal companies etc okay so it is a kit and embassy uh, emphasizes usability clarity and efficient data for handling okay so detailed requirements are as follows admin module the admin module allows administrator to configure the application and manages functional uh, foundational data okay so first one is a company management so that's the one thing we need to do and that should be admin should be able to add delete edit companies okay so three operations all the code operations simply so each company entry should be include name location linkedin profile email phone number comments communication periodicity so all these parameters should be maintained okay so next communication uh, communication method management which i told is linkedin post description so and so sequence so and so and the mandatory flag which is required or not okay by default the system should include all these methods in the following order linkedin post linkedin message email phone call other okay so based on without the time uh, you know so based on our time requirements and we need to generate this project we have cut down few things okay that i will be telling you okay don't worry so there are few fields which i missed you can add that as i always say it should be around it should be 90 plus 10 percent which means 90 percent we do and 10 percent you should do okay so the next module is user module this module is the primary interface for end users enabling them to view manage and perform communication tasks dashboard first one is dashboard the dashboard provides a grid like view where each row represents a company name column etc so the company name last five communications like linkedin post so and so and then it's communication which is a future thing planned communication and color code red color and red color yellow color you can choose what the interaction so interaction feature however that's not required communication action user can select a specific company or multi-select companies click on a communication performed button to log in new communication in the action module, set up the type of communication, LinkedIn post, email, cell phone, etc. Input date of uh, communication, date to be communication, and add notes. So, in so comments. And then notifications. So, overdue and then total grid. It should be showing in the total grid form. And then calendar. So, calendar, you will be having this calendar view. 
and then each calendar will be having your schedule so at what date you have done so and so okay and then this is a reporting and analytical module which is an optional thing okay so i won't dive into this but i will be showing what we have done so let's go into the side editing and all so communication frequency report which is a bar chart and so and so okay engagement efficient dashboard okay dashboard kind of thing and overdue communi uh, communication trends and then downloadable reports you can download the reports which are success and failures of the emails and so on and then real time activity log user logged in user updated this user uh, attended the call so and so that logs and submission instructions this is the important thing submit the source code through github repository ensure the code address the best practices use modular and reusable components should define the component and use to reuse the components maintain a clear uh, separation of concerns like services components and utilities as we have did don't worry okay so include comments and documents wherever necessary simply include a readme file with this detailed setup and development instructions note application functionality and unknown limitations so develop the app to the uh, platform versel netfly and github pages provide the live url where the application can be accessed and evaluated so testing and validation ensure the application runs smoothly and it's free of errors perform through testing to identify and resolve any, per, uh, any performance or usability issues uh, provide sample data mock companies communication etc schedule to demonstrate functionality during the evolution as they are telling you as they are telling you to mock the response you can do the mocking response and you can directly put it in error you can show but we have run the backend server to create a json server and okay that's different and just to add your more points okay so it will be based upon the entire score they will be giving so if you do few things extra you will be getting a few more points other than compared to the other candidates okay so evolution process submission should be available on the following clean maintainable and well documented code proper use of react patterns component design and state management functional decorate and completing uh, all the features proper handling of overdue due and complete communications user experience uh, user experience initiative and easy to navigate interface effective use of color coded ls and tool pits application performance efficient data handling and rendering smooth operation without noticeable delays and crashes creativity and innovation enhance beyond the basic requirements modern and thoughtful ui your choices it's up to you to design but as we won't focus on this ui concept so i don't do much ui i'm back end developer so i do all this logic stuff but ui i just do some part okay once you see our application the code later you can uh, do whatever you want you will be having all those endpoints and you can modify the ui according to the requirement okay so additional details if login is required either admin or user access user access the necessary credentials must be included in the submission email note that we will not provide any other sign up or registration towards the end feel free to use any library frameworks or tools that you are comfortable with enhancing your solution rejects for state management and css5 styling and full calendar for calendar functionality however ensure you use external dependencies as well document in the readme file okay so if you have any questions or reach, reach out to so and so email good luck and we look forward to reviewing your submission very simple very simple application not much just a curd operations and then and something few libraries that you need to use like charts the uh, full calendar thing and then you need to pass that uh, schedules to that full calendar so that it show a, a small dialog box on the charts so it's up to your imagination how you need to design but later first of all let us dive into this code concept as they have told we need to use all this uh, uh, what we call structured way of uh, writing the code so we have in the components we have admin so it will be having all the admin details like company list company form company methods company method form and then calendar to show all the calendar so i think calendar is in some other pages so these pages will have dashboard page and reporting page the reporting will have all the reporting which is an optional parameter so we have done everything and the services which is an api how you need to write an api and all and then shared components user components like calendar view communication model dashboard table notification panel etc and then these are main app.js where we'll be rendering everything so we'll be using all this data and we'll be fetching few companies details and then we'll be uh, using the navigation bar to navigate and then from here which means the entire navigation takes place from here the company list company uh, communication method list dashboard table calendar view communication model and toast calendar is not required but we have used so just to add an extra point so if you do extra you get extra points okay just remember that and the reporting page okay so 
first of all what you need to do in case if you want this code you will be getting this code okay so you will once you get this code so these are the endpoints like company communication and communication method has three endpoints that you need to eat when you run the code okay so once you get this code um, what you need to, okay how i should frame this okay once you get this code you need to run two servers which is the backend server and then you need to run this uh, npm start which is here it is okay so let me close all this let me close this also okay so now you be you you are in the app folder so first of all you need to start the server which is a front end server npm start and then you need to start the back end server which is the json server hyphen hyphen watch db.json hyphen hyphen port which is a 5000 this will act as a json server for your back end okay for the back end so once you run once the application has entirely loaded this is how it will be looking so as i told i won't focus much on this ui concepts okay so in case if you want to do this in a nice ui manner get the code and then you modify according to your requirements okay once you click on this company you'll be having all this company with pro location is uk and then these actions tcs usa so and so actions and then communication method you will be having so and so linkedin email and i've used something blah 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 and then you're, you'll be having this dashboard so for v pro for the last five communications are email and linkedin and then email and linkedin message for this tcs like schedules are not there so it's an empty okay notifications so when we have the notifications so we have used nice toast notifications here you can close this notifications and then this Vipro have uh, is as a last communication on 24 12 30 which means today so that's why it's showing in today's communications list and this is Vipros are in the past due to six days due to six years so and so okay and then notification done next let's go to the calendar so as in the previously i have told we need to uh, cover the not cover we need to mark the date with our schedule so december 30 we have a wipro email as i told in the previous one in the notification and on sunday we have tcs email so once we go back we have again wipro and tcs on 25th monday which is on november everything is linked to this uh ca communications calendar uh, sorry com companies and communications and then next one is reports so this is an entire dynamic data so frequency linkedin emails calls and success pending and failing and then this overall trends and in case if you click on this if you click on this export to pdf it will be exporting to the pdf okay uh, let me show this pdf also so this is how it will be exporting okay in case if you want to go to the csv you can open this in the csv also everything is done every functionality is done so this is how the csv will be okay and then this activity log as i told so this activity log look at this so this activity log so this is entire dynamic data not dynamic it's a static data but as it is an optional so i have used this static data in case if you want to link this to this particular things like communication mod communication methods and all so you have all the endpoints just call it and fetch the data as simple as that okay Akil. so you have shown everything so show me our show me your code operations all okay so add company i will be adding like uh, our company only beta credit guide and the location is uh, let us say INDIA India and my LinkedIn profile uh, www.google.com. Okay, comments be the credit. Let me click on save. Okay, please enter valid URL. Okay, turn on, turn on. some validations at the back end. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Where is this? And then here we go save so here you see beta credit guide india and then you have this edit button so in case if i want to change the beta credit guide to proj pro which will be releasing the project in a couple of days proj put okay so i want to change my name so if i click on save so proj put india and then this edit button i don't want to have this delete i don't want to have this project company so i'll be clicking on delete pasak delete operation is done next if you go to this communication method you have will you will be having all this communication method i want to add a new communication method which is linkedin uh, let me use this phone and i think it's a mandatory the sequence is one two is completed you need to hit three so click on save so phone s3 and if you want to edit three to four you can do that save so four i don't want to, i don't want to use phone click on delete it will be getting deleted and then dashboard you let us go to this dashboard so once we have come to the dashboard and here you see we can add this add communication which means like it will be adding the next follow-up request to this particular last five communication 
okay so once we select for example if you select this phone call and if you select this date for example let me go to this future and then uh, write some future kind of thing and click on submit so this will be adding up to this uh wipro so and so so it will be showing only the five only the latest five uh like last five communications and the next communication which will be adding up okay so that's it and you have seen this notification so it all you know due dates and then wipro will be having the 12 30 okay and then this calendar you see wipro we have already told right so this is just a basic uh, static data so that's all uh that's the entire assignment guys okay so the entire every functionality is uh written uh, written nicely and in case if you want to add few more fields or few more modifications to the ui just go ahead and do or in case if you have any doubt just reach out to us that's it okay and i really all i really wish all the best for the candidates who have this uh, who receive this technical assessment okay so i'll be giving the source code in the description box okay i'll be giving the link okay click on that link and then you come to us on this instagram page we'll be taking you from there okay so do follow us on the beta career guide channel for latest job posting career guidance and projects and much more have a nice day. Bye-bye.